Hi, I'm Dr. Tanya, Director of Amtan Medical. And today I've got my dear friend with me, that's Dr. Dinesh. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. I'm glad that we are able to have this conversation and to most importantly know and understand from you because you are the front line, you're in the emergency department. You see problems every day. So it's mm -hmm. really a pleasure. <laughs> Uh, thanks for having me. And you're right, I think um, Australia has done exceedingly well. We're, we're a very lucky country and every day I count my blessings to be living here. But I think the reason we got here is because I also think Australia is a country that just gets on with it and gets things done. We always have. And people got together and we physically distanced when we had to. We wore masks when we had to and uh, we washed our hands and we did all the right stuff. So now we're in a good position compared to other countries. I work with a lot of doctors from places like Colombia and India and the UK. And the stories that you hear from them about uh, their home countries, it's pretty heartbreaking. And there's a lot of death, there's a lot of suffering and uh, even their governments are in turmoil because of the situation. So I think we've done extremely well. That's right. You rightly pointed out about um, our doctor colleagues from around the world, how they are fighting and um, battling through this um, pandemic. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, a lot of doctors' life has been lost. A lot of medical professionals' lives life has been lost. And I'm sure they would, they all will do it again, you know, we'll, you know, we have to do what we can do to save the community. The question arises, how can we stop being in that situation? How can we prevent being in that situation? And um, I, think, I think it's important that everyone gets a vaccination. Um, vaccinations have been around for so long, hundreds of years. And um, basically it's training your body to fight off a pathogen like a virus. So they've been around for a long time. And we've just got to a point in human history where we can manufacture a vaccine so quickly mm -hmm. to fight off uh, an enemy, Correct. which is largely invisible. Because historically, these kind of pandemics have wiped out millions and millions of people. I think for me, it was um, something that was particularly confronting when all this started because I actually did a lung function test today and my lung function is about 30% of what's expected. So if I were to get a significant illness like pneumonia or even the flu or something like COVID-19, the outcome for me could be pretty dire. And around the world in places like the UK, they were actually deprioritizing people with disabilities and the elderly from getting intensive care. So not only was there a bigger risk from the disease, but there was a bigger risk from uh, society who was marginalizing these people. So it was a really confronting time for me. So when the vaccine came out, uh, it was a bit of relief for me and I got the vaccine and um, now I feel a bit safer. Yeah. And I'm really glad that you raised that, um, that concern that you have. You're speaking not just on behalf of elderly, but also people with disabilities who are vulnerable. And God forbid we never would reach that situation. But we can do something now if we all actually get vaccinated. So we are hoping to develop herd immunity and hence we would be able to protect those who need more protection, those who are vulnerable, those who are at risk. So that I think is a basic principle from my understanding of this vaccination campaign, mm. isn't it? And I think we have to do it together as a country and as a community. Um, I understand that we're at the forefront of something new and we've been fighting a big battle for quite a while now, but I think it's important that we move forward together. 
um, because together is how we'll get there. We got this far together, yes. but the next steps, we all have to come together. I can't wait when we will be able to travel again. I can't wait for normality to set in. The holidays that we want to have. People coming here, like uh, students coming back, businesses back to normal. It'll be just again a dream come true. But it is all achievable. We may have to pause for the moment. We just need to listen to what the public authority, health authorities have to say, what the recommendations are. And I know the concerns, like what you had pointed out, was clearly regarding the vaccination because how fast it's been made and developed. So the question you know, arises in everyone, is it safe? Can I have it? What if I can't have the vaccination? I think going and talking to your doctor, because that is your first place. That is, your, your local doctor is your best place to ask questions like that. We really need the community behind us. And I know Australia is far, far ahead of any other country. The pandemic has been a huge amount of stress for frontline workers, whether it be uh, policemen, firemen, mm -hmm. uh, healthcare staff, everyone. And we even saw people take their own lives during this time because it's been a huge amount of stress over an already stressful job. So we are very lucky in Australia in that we're far ahead of many other countries. And we've been lucky to have the community behind us as well. Um, and they really came together. I mean, I remember just getting food and things sent in uh, when all this started. So we've been really lucky to have the community behind us. But moving forward too, I think we need that. Um, and I think it just relieves that amount of pressure from people. And it allows people to feel safe when they're doing their jobs. Yes, that is so right. You know, we have got a lot to be proud of um, being Australians. It's, um, we are such a proactive society as such, as a nation. Um, we identified that there is a problem and everyone did it together. So if it's fine for the authority to say, but if each and every individual didn't take it seriously, we would not be enjoying sitting and having a conversation like this. So, you know, credit goes to every single Australians for doing that. So the same amount of determination is needed to get the vaccination as well. I think that's quite important. Um, we need to take a proactive approach rather than a reactive approach. We have a lot to be proud of as Australian. We have taken a really good, great step in actually stopping the spread of the disease. As a country, we have the goal, a long-term goal, to get everyone vaccinated, at least the ones who can get vaccinated, so that we can protect our vulnerable, we can protect our sick ones, and we can protect our children. So it is important to get vaccinated. We may not be able to eradicate COVID-19, but we can definitely reduce the harm, reduce the severity, reduce the death, that we have already seen, we just have to look around the world, what's happened. We can actually save our people if most of us get vaccinated. Go talk to your doctor, and I'm sure your health providers will be more than happy to answer your questions.